Hey, good evening and welcome to week two of discipleship, or as we said last week, means of grace for, for us Wesleyans. Each week is supposed to be an opportunity for you to find something that will help you grow closer to following the way that Jesus has for us. A lot of us think going to church and doing these things, but we need something that brings us closer. Well, this past Sunday was Pentecost, and we were all on fire with the Holy Spirit. So, uh, so uh, tonight we're going to go with the Holy Spirit to focus on that for our means of grace that Wesley has listed, though, the number two, we want to stay in order with that. We want to stay in order with that is that the means of grace will be searching the Scriptures said last week was prayer, this week is searching the, the scriptures. Now again, before you turn me off, I'm going to tell you to hang on, because some of you are going, oh, I don't read the Bible, I don't do that. Well, I really love this title because it is okay to just search the scriptures. Some of us have had these preconceived lessons that we've been taught about how to read, or what version we have to read, or what or what we have to do, or that if that if we read it, that searching means that we got to search out the Latin and the Greek and the Hebrew and the Arabic, and some of us may or may not. It will help us, but you may not be there yet. And I like this because Wesley said that searching the the uh, scriptures implies reading, hearing and meditating thereon. Now, actually, looking back after last week, you may have already begun this discipline and didn't know it was a separate a, a, a discipline or means of grace. See, if you prayed last week, this past week, and you used the book of Psalms, the method that, that I gave you, and you started reading and meditating on those verses, you were searching the Scriptures. See, that falls under this same definition. But this week, I want you to try truly searching the, script, the uh, Scriptures. If you're new to the Bible, now this is what I recommend. I recommend that you download an app called YouVersion. Now, I don't get any money for recommending that. But I recommend you download that app. And when you choose in the app, you get to choose a translation. I would recommend that you choose a translation called NLT or New Living the Translation because it is a common English wording, but the source material is very close to the Hebrew and Greek original. So if you're using now, though, a hardbound copy of the Bible, then I recommend that you, again, try to find a translation, the same as the NLT or one that you like to, to, to read. If you like reading a King James and you're okay with that, that's fine. And maybe it's all you have. So at this point, you may have to use whatever is available. But if we're going to practice this discipleship and we're going to walk closer with Jesus, searching the scriptures is going to be a part of that. So, once you have a translation you have, we can deal with the theological differences later. In fact, it'll make great discussion when you really start talking about the scriptures with a friend or in a group. So, now understand this. Wesley actually had no idea there would ever be an app called YouVersion or called the uh, Bible. And that the app would actually be able to read to you. But he did say that reading or listening was searching the, the uh, scriptures. And in his time, people would take turns reading and others would listen. See, so this week, I challenge you to open up your app in the Bible or to the Gospel of John. It's in the New Testament, second half of the Bible. The app allows you to scroll through the books, and you can click on John, and you can click on chapter 1. And then you can begin reading, or better yet, on this app is going to come up on your screen, and there'll be a little arrow, looks like a play button, and you'll hit play, and it will begin reading the verses to you. You see, it is 
okay to be confused about this. In fact, I recommend that if it's reading to you, you can take notes. Write down questions and then send me an email, contact a friend, ask them, hey, you ever read the Bible? I heard this on my Bible app the other night. What does this verse really mean? You know? So if you're doing a hardbound, you got to go to the second half of the Bible, find the Gospel of John, go through the pages, highlight right in the margins of uh, your Bible. So it's there and you have questions and you could go back to it. My challenge is for the rest of this week, spend at least five to ten minutes reading, hearing, and meditating on scriptures. And as you do, you will sense God making himself present through the Holy Spirit as a means of grace that will draw you closer to being a follower or a disciple of Jesus. Remember, in the first Sunday of this series, our message said that we discussed that when you hear the voice, come follow me, which as you become more of a disciple, you're going to hear more often than you need to respond. I'll see you next week, but between now and then, continue to work on these two means of grace and the discipleship. We'll keep adding one every single week, and we'll talk about it and how you could put it into play in your life. Until then, I hope you join us on a Sunday or on a Bible study. We've got three campuses for you for you to join us on. We look forward to, to having you there.